Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here on the show, and I'm here to talk about a new series for the Dodgers. And this time, they're playing the Seattle Mariners for three games, and they take game one of this series uh, here tonight. 3-0 uh, to is your final score. The Mariners offense, man, it, it's brutal to watch. Like, I've seen some Mariners games this year. I really haven't watched them that much, but I know their offense is really bad because the games I have seen, their offense is really bad. They probably have one, one of the lowest batting averages of the league as a team with, like, 216. Like, they need to get some offense in the offseason. The only reason they have 64 wins right now is because they're great pitching staff. Brian Wu, Bryce Miller, Luis Castillo. you got great starters. But sometimes their bullpen chokes. And you can't expect your starter to throw scoreless outings every single game. Like, they're going to give up some runs. It may not be a lot, but, you know, even if it feels like even the starters, you know, give up one run, two runs, that's going to be enough for the opposing team to win. And the Dodgers end up scoring three. They got all three of their runs in the seventh inning on homers. Uh, Gavin Lux broke through for the Dodgers. They only had uh, two hits, I believe. Or one hit. Uh, heading into the seventh inning. I believe. It was either one or two hits, I think. It might have been one or one hit, heading to the eight inning. Gavin Lux, he gets the solo homer. Gavin Lux is so good right now, man. Like, you gotta give credit to Gavin Lux. It's more like Gavin Fux. <laughs> As Dodgers fans call him. But yeah, um, Dodgers were uh, great pitching-wise tonight. And the Mariners, they're falling apart right now in, in the division as well. My Dodgers have, still have a three-game lead over the Padres and the D-backs. So every team in the NL West won today. But until last week, the Astros' largest division lead this season had been one game. They now lead the AL West by five games over the Seattle Mariners. The Astros are going to win this division, man. The Mariners' offense just isn't that good. The AL West is a wrap. If the Mayor's pitching was mediocre, they would be one of the worst teams in baseball. But no one should be surprised by this. The Astros played poor baseball start of the year, and now they've come on strong. And, um, I don't know how you, how Mariners fans watch this offense, man. Daily. Like, I don't know how. But, uh, getting to my Dodgers now, it just feels so good to have Everyone healthy. Uh, Freddie Freeman's playing with a fra hairline fracture in his finger or something like that. But besides that, most of the lineup's healthy. Like we, the bottom of the lineup, man, is cool. They have Max Muncy batting seventh and Tommy Edmond batting ninth. Rojas eighth. Like I've never seen so much depth added to a lineup in just a week. Getting all these guys back. And Lux and Muncy being solid bats will be the most lineup depth. Since we had in 2020, you know, when we, when we won the World Series. 2021 was a great team, too, but Muncy getting hurt in the last day of the season and JT getting hurt in the, in the playoffs killed the depth. With this team, wait, they have so much depth in the lineup right now. Let's hope they stay healthy and um, get humming. We'd love to see a run lead into October as well for once. But the beauty is with this lineup, Dave, you just gotta hope they can figure it out at the same time by October. Yeah, they scored three runs on only four hits, but the Mayor's pitching staff starters are great. Brian Wu, he's done this to really every team that she's pitching against this year. Yeah, the Dodgers come um, come up clutch when Mary most score those three runs. And that was just a really damn clean baseball game. A really great win. The pitching's been really been has really been good these last two games. Clark Kershaw had a great start of six scoreless innings. Uh, Gavin Stone's not seven scoreless innings. I know it's against the Mariners, but Gavin Stone's having a really good rookie year. I know he's kind of struggled. Um, he had a really good start of the year. He kind of struggled a little bit. You know, kind of hit that rookie curve. He had a good outing against the Milwaukee Brewers, uh, a really good baseball team. And against, uh, I know some Mariners offense, but seven innings, two hits, no one runs, two walks, ten strikeouts. Hell of, a, hell of an outing from Gavin Stone. Back-to-back -back good starts from our pitching staff. 
And when we get Yamamoto back, it's going to be tough for teams to, to beat us, man, especially with our lineup, especially with our lineup healthy. The only question, really, after that's the bullpen, to be honest. And then Bueller and Miller will have questions, but we'll see. Yeah, Gavin Stone was great. Like, yeah, he kind of hit that rookie curve where he struggled, but I, besides that, he's had a really good year. Then two scoreless innings from the bullpen. Joe Kelly, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks. He struck out one. Evan Phillips got the save. One inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. So Evan Phillips has been good lately. So hopefully uh, that's a sign. He's turning around, and him and Kopech can, you know, kind of every few games they can just split who save, uh, saves, the, saves games. Hopefully Evan Phillips is turning it around as well. Uh, but yeah, great pitching from the Dodgers. Not only two total hits and struck out uh, 12 Mariners. Uh, Lux was great. One for three a walk and an RBI at that solo homer. Man, I'm so glad again Lux has turned his career around. And Max Muncy homered in his first game back a two-run homer. But man, uh, the bottom of the order is actually chills right now. What what two weeks can do to a team? This division's got this division's so stacked, man. But I thought Gavin Stone, his um, was absolutely incredible. I thought this was the best start of his young career. I thought this was the best start of his young career. 15 whiffs and a 37% CSW. He really bounced back from that rough stretch he had with a great outing against the Brewers. And I know it's the Mariners, but Mariners offense, but I'm really encouraged with these last two outings. I really like the changeup and the slider. Uh, for him. If only Bobby Miller had that kind of command, Bobby Miller would su still manage to give up runs against this offense, even though they suck. Yeah, uh, Freddie Freeman uh, has honestly had his best defensive game. He made some nice plays at first base tonight. He had his best defensive game the season the day he was diagnosed with a hairline fracture in his finger. It's kind of wild to me. Um... Max Muncy's first homer, um, home run first game back. Gavin Lux, um, I gotta get, I'm giving him so much praise because he deserves it. Now it's kind of hard on him when uh, he was struggling, but I'm glad he's turned. I'm glad he's really turned it around. The player he's become is wild. Just more confidence coming off that uh, ACL, LCL injury. He's really turned his season around. It's just. When you have five, six, seven hitters, when everybody's healthy, that can ju that can just do that at any moment. It feels like you can breathe a little. Now we just need a healthy rotation full of um, Glass now, Yamamoto, Kershaw. I like what I've seen from Kershaw lately. Gavin Stone, Jack Flaherty. That's five good starters you have right there. And it, and honestly, if I'm going with the playoff starting rotation, you ask me now. I'm saying Glass now, Yamamoto, Kershaw, Flaherty. I would say those are the four starters. Bullpen, you can have Gavin Snow either be a fifth starter or come out of the bullpen. Gratterall, Kopech, Vessia, Trinan, Hudson, Brazier, Phillips, Bonda is honestly who I'd have in the bullpen. Lineup, I would just keep it how it is. I would just say Otani, Betts, Freeman, Hernandez, Luck, Smith, Muncy, Ross, and Edmund. For the bench, I guess you could have Kike, Kiermaier, Taylor, Barnes if, on the bench if, they need, if you need them. But yeah, no more praying for just airs or walks to get for guys to get on base. Uh, but yeah, Brian Wu uh, was great tonight. Six point one innings, two hits, two earned runs, two walks, five strikeouts. He was good until he gave up that homer to Lux, and then a uh, homer by Garcia gives that second run to uh, Wu, who exited after a hit by pitch uh, by Will Smith. Give me Garcia. Point one innings, pitch, two hits, one earned run, no walks, no strikeouts. He didn't even get out of the inning. They bring in Taylor Saucedo, uh, point one innings pitch, no hits and earned runs, two walks, no strikeouts. Trent uh, Thornton, one inning, no hits and earned runs, one walk, and one strikeout. So, yeah, that's um, the pitching for the Mariners dropped 64 and 62. Their offense scored zero runs. They had two total hits. Robles was 0 for 4, and Rosa Reina 0 for 3 in a walk. Raleigh 0 for 4, Rodriguez 1 for 2 in a walk. Plonk on Rayleigh to reach over for three. Turner, Justin Turner, one for three. Uh, 2020 World Champ back uh, in LA tonight. Good to see uh, JT. Rojas, 0 for three. And Dylan Moore, 0 for two. 
For the Dodgers, Otani 1 for 3 to walk. Bates 0 for 2, 2 walks. Freeman 0 for 4 and T. Oscar 0 for 4. Lux 1 for 3 to walk and an RBI. Smith 0 for 2 and a walk. Uh, Muncie 1 for 4, 2 RBIs. And Rojas 0 for 3 and Edmund 1 for 3. And his first stolen base is a Dodger. See, that's an advantage having him as a 9 here because if he gets on base, you know he's going to be a stolen base threat. And Dodgers improved to 74 and 52, 22 games above 500, four hits for three runs tonight. Scored all three of their runs in that seventh inning. The, I'll say this, man: the Mariners have a hell of a pitching staff. They just need to get some offense in the off season. Like they desperately need to get some in the off season. But it's like the Gavins, both Gavins, Gavin Lux and Gavin Stone reign supreme uh, tonight to give us that three nothing victory. I'm just glad our lineup's fully healthy. But yeah, good win. Um, ten strikes and the Dodgers win. But yeah, the Mayors, I mean, they kept the Dodgers scoreless through six. They gave their fans false hope. Allowed three runs in that seventh. Basically punched their fans in the basically punched them in the dick. But yeah, um, what did you mean to say for Brian Wu? He did all he could. It feels like just the offense never gives him run support when he pitches. Like, they just don't give him any run support. Mariner's offense is just going to Mariner. So, yeah, it's uh, really all I'll say for this video. So, yeah, game 126 is in the books. So, tomorrow's going to be a busy day, ladies and gentlemen. I got um, Twins Padres game, too. Dodgers, Mariners. Uh, Yankees, Guardians, Phillies, Braves. So you're going to be in for a hell of a day of baseball tomorrow. So four baseball recaps tomorrow and whatever else I decide to do. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Until next time, I'm Peace. Go Dodgers.